This Computex coverage is brought to you by Converge. Experience the first pure end-to-end -end fiber network in the country. No data cal, download, stream, and share all you want with Converge. Experience better. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Boss Mac and back to gaming.com and we're here live at Computex back again right here at the Aorus Extreme Power Band. I'm joined here by Jackson and he will guide us through these motherboards, the X570 motherboards, right? Yes. For the newly released third yes. gen Ryzen. Yes. So let's talk about the big bad baby right here. Yes. Okay, please. Let's look at this phone. Okay, so uh, we start introducing about uh, X570 series, so mm -hmm. we start with uh, Aorus Extreme. So this is our uh, most high-end model mm -hmm. uh, for that line. So as you can see, this board is almost fully covered mm -hmm. with metal heating, right? So the first uh, view... You yeah, the see. presentation said it was like front and back a heat yes, sink. Uh, unfortunately, this board is uh, fixed to the... Here, so I can't the, the display, it. Yeah, okay. Yes, you're exactly right. So I'm front the back side, so 85% of the area is covered and interconnected together. Mm -hmm. So the whole ball uh, act as a big giant heatsink. Okay. okay, and why so, is that? So that would ensure because AMD just released yesterday the Ryzen 3000 mm -hmm. series, right? Mm -hmm. Up to 12, of course. So uh, unfortunately, that you know we haven't got our CPUs on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure it, it's with a very fast speed and performance. Mm. It definitely needs a very good power design, mm. right? To deliver the great performance. Mm. So this ball comes with the world's first direct 16. The world's first. Yes, uh, 16 phase possible, uh, power, uh, design, the VIM, mm. what do you call? So uh, this direct 16 VIM, so with no doublers. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, so far we have doublers. Doublers, okay. okay. They're good solutions. But if we can get rid of the doublers, so we have a more robust uh, VM design. Mm -hmm. uh, what I mean by more robust Bust. means because you have no doublers, so there's less delay. Mm -hmm. When uh, transmitting the signals from the PDMA controller to the actual phase, yeah. turning on and off, okay? So less delay, which means when we supply uh, voltage to the CPU, there's less undershoot. Mm -hmm. and overshoot yeah so which means the voltage supply to the CPU is much more stable mm -hmm. okay and also we have been introduced today uh, by doing a direct system phase the power efficiency can improve over like four percent four percent to a parallel design mm -hmm. okay so like uh, we explained during our presentation today four percent may not seem a lot a lot right? yes but in the world of engineering, four percent mm. is really huge. Yeah. So we do a very simple comparison mm -hmm. of a power supply. Okay. A bronze label and a gold label makes a huge difference. Yes. Okay. So I believe the cost of two kinds of power supply should be at least thirty dollars. Yeah. I, my my personal guess. Okay. So that's just a good comparison on mm. how. Uh, good uh, VRM this board has designed. And we're just talking about the VRM. There's a lot yeah, to talk about the board, but let's move on to the other. Yeah, mm. good. Okay, so so this is the uh, master. Uh, this is the extreme. The right? extreme. So we take uh, next level down. This is a master. It's a still direct 14. Uh, sorry, uh, 14. Okay, 14. 14. Yes. Yeah. So 16, 14. Okay, so with still very good design. Also, the thermal solution is still very good uh, pin, pins mm. array. So, you know, for Gigabyte, our last, our last generation, we already use pin array. Yeah. Okay? Because for fin, pin arrays uh, increase the surface area mm. of the heat So there's more air contact. Yeah. So you're able to uh, participate more mm. heat, even when you use a CPU air water cooling. With no air flow through, mm -hmm. but be because increasing the surface area, you're able to dissipate more heat. Okay, so this is a very good thermal design compared to extreme. Well. Yeah. Okay. So then we move down to this is uh, ultra. The ultra. So you see ultra still with fins array, still with fins array. Yeah. 14 phase power design. Okay. Mm. So you see still PCIe uh, Gen4, mm. right? Gen4, Gen4 two by. So still three 
Yeah, so, yeah. So for those not familiar, AMD will be using uh, PCIe Gen 4 on yes. most of uh, all the uh, motherboards, right? Yes. yes right. Mm -hmm. So if uh, our users want to enjoy PCIe Gen 4 product, first it has to use a Ryzen 3000 CPU, an X570 motherboard, and get a Gen 4 uh, yeah. SSD mm -hmm. uh, or a graphics card. So a uh, host, a uh, platform. Motherboard and the device linked together. Yeah, so like okay. an entire ecosystem. E ecosystem, yes. So this is the Ultra, okay? Mm -hmm. So then we move down next level to Pro. So if I want to double check, uh, how still 14 pace. Still 14 pace, true. Uh, 14 pace, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you look closely, still thin array. Yeah. Okay, so this we didn't do it before. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you look at our uh, previous generation uh, or Pro level, P6, yeah. no thin array. Yeah, more more on the conservative side, but still yes. capable. Yeah. Yeah, but this time we be, we bring the thin array down to mm. pro, okay? Because uh, we get feedbacks on our customer and media, our friends, people really like a good uh, thermal solution. Yeah. Uh, it used to be nice looking, mm -hmm. but besides nice looking, they want good performance. It has to perform. Yes, correct. Yeah. So that's why we bring down the feature rate down to the. So you're saying these are high-end features, but right in now mainstream. mainstream. Yeah. Okay. Then we move down to Elite. Elite uh, is the most entry member of our OS family, but you see. It doesn't look face. entry to me. <laughs> yeah. Still 14 phase uh, power design, so mm. it is ensure you have enough capability to support mm. the latest Ryzen 3000 CPU. Okay. So you see, still with very good P6 and we take advice from power users, media friends. So you see this time, even in the Elite, the, the thermal heat sink is not covered by the armor. Mm -hmm. So it will improve the thermal. Yes. Okay? Uh, over last few generations, people will uh, tell people, hey, don't do... Uh, don't the cover the heat sink on the BRM, yes. That he cannot go up. Escape, yeah. So this time we took the, took the advice. User feedback, yeah. Yes, we improved. Okay, so still with uh, PCI chain for M.2 slot, okay? So that's uh, elite. Mm -hmm. okay? Then we move down to the gaming. So this is the gaming X. Mm -hmm. So this is gaming X still mm -hmm. with how many phase we got? We have 12. Yeah. None, of, none of these are like below uh, 10, right? Exactly, so this, uh, this is uh, why, because we know AMD has a very good mm. series of CPU, so we need to prepare a very good motherboard. Mm -hmm. So even uh, users would have uh, considered our most entry of X570, we want to make sure that they have enough, uh, we want to make sure the board has a, enough VRM design. Yeah to match with the CPU they want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is the Gaming X. Mm -hmm. And this time we also bring up... A fan ITX. favorite, ITX. ITX. So, ITX because of the ball size uh, limiting. So you see, I cannot create uh, a lot of face count. Mm -hmm. So for this ball, if I double check this ball, it is a eight. eight face. Mm -hmm. But uh, if A face is uh, because of the space limitation, then we put down 70 amps mm -hmm. on the power stage onto this baby. So, A face times 70 amps. Mm -hmm. How much is that? That's 500. That's 560 amps. That's still a lot. <laughs> that's yeah. still a lot for a Ryzen 3000 CPU to ensure that even you uh, customer choose a mini X board, we still has a very good power solution. Yeah, it can handle even the high end one. Yes, yeah. correct. That's correct. So uh, that is the uh, uh, mini X. And so also to mention that uh, full product line, uh, if with uh, if the models with uh, equipped with Wi-Fi, it's all with Wi-Fi six. Oh, Wi-Fi six. Definitely a buzzword right now, and it's like yes. the future going forward yes, right now. So. Uh, we ro really want to make our product feature proof, mm -hmm. right? So Wi-Fi 6, maybe so far you didn't get a uh, Wi-Fi 6 router mm -hmm. yet, but... The coming years, of yeah. Of course, but if you're considering of upgrading your PC with the latest Ryzen and Gigabyte X5 and motherboard, definitely will definitely. equip you with the latest technology. Ready, you'll be ready. The IO interface. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Okay. So that's pretty much it. There's a lot to be said about it. We just, we just talked about the BRMs, not the entire features, but that's maybe for another time. So this has been it. Once again, thank you, Jackson, for joining us. So once again, this is your boy, Boss Mag. We'll be showing you one last part of our tour. And or can we continue already? Oh, OK, we can continue. Can you show, talk about the SSD? All right, let's talk about the SSD. Uh, <coughs> So we're at this side. Yeah. So let's start from this one. Okay. How about that? All right. Okay. So just now we talk about the great play phone, right? Mm -hmm. so we talk about PCI Gen 4 ready. Mm -hmm. But what would be the device? So Gigabyte is very proud to bring the world's first PCI Gen 4 okay, together, together with the motherboard. Okay. So feel how heavy. The SSD. It's significant. Yes. It is significantly yes. heavy. So this is a bare uh, uh, PCB yeah. okay, with a component with a SSD. Yeah. So it's with a uh, Python. <laughs> so it's a with Python controller and mm. Toshiba Big Four, very fast, mm. new generation. But you also understand uh, to de deliver such fast, uh, high performance, we must make sure you will not throttle. Yeah. Okay. So by in, by, do, uh, by reaching that goal that... Yeah, by introducing this copper heat sink. Yes. Yeah. So on, on the bottom side, <clears throat> we use a, a copper base with a very good uh, heat paste. Yeah. And then on the top side as well. Okay? So this is a top and bottom solution. Yes. yes. So, uh, so make sure that the SSD that you uh, will consider mm. in your uh, next purchase that has a very good thermal design. Yeah, so this is basically, this is not just style, this is like yes. doing something. Yes, correct. Because let, let's show our viewers what it means to have something this, like with this kind of cooling and what Gen, yes. uh, PCIe Gen 4 can deliver. Yes, so for this Gen, uh, Gen 4 by 4 SSD, you're able to reach a sequential read up to 5,000 megabytes per second. 5,000. That is 40% faster than the uh, Gen 3 product. Yeah. Okay, so this is great. So this is for uh, your office work, mm -hmm. for your video editing, for gaming. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, just to give you an idea of our viewers, a usual SATA drive will perform around, like a SATA SSD will be around 500, 500. megabytes per second. This is 5,000. 5, 10 times, 10 times. Okay. And this is just the M2 Gen 4, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. So we didn't just stop here. So uh, let me introduce our uh, next product. So. We that's introduce we big. introduce the performance, right? Yeah. Then let's just look at the performance of. The let's space. look at the performance <laughs> first. So this look one at is that. Fifteen thousand megabytes per second of speed. Fifteen gigabytes. Okay. So, question: Who would need such? What would you know? Maybe the fastest SSD. Probably eight K uh, content creators. <laughs> 8K content. Yeah. Video editing, yeah. content creation uh, for productivity, mm -hmm. goals, right? So, like, or someone who can't wait for the games to load. <laughs> right. So, when people use their PC to uh, doing productivity work, yeah. right? They use their PC as their um, tool mm -hmm. for uh, professional work. So, time is very important mm -hmm. for them. So, if they can say a few minutes over editing or file, they're gonna save many more time okay. during one day, month, a year. Mm -hmm. So for them, they always want the best. The best. Uh, best of the best, right? The quickest, the fastest uh, 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 um, uh, things they have mm -hmm. to, to help them. So that's why we come up with this idea. So this is a uh, PCI Gen 4 designed head on card, okay? So you can see very clearly there's four PCIe uh, Gen 4 M.2 slots uh, on the board. So we, by creating this car, we put down uh, four of the SSD soldiers over there. So two terabyte each. So we combine it with a ratio, so it goes up to eight terabyte uh, of total size. Oh, this is eight terabytes. Eight terabytes. All right. This is the biggest size you can get so far, okay? So speed, most fast. Capacity. Capacity, biggest. Okay, mm. by, but Again, uh, by doing this to reach such kind of performance, you mm -hmm. really need to take care of the thermal, right? Mm -hmm. In order to perform. So, as you can see here, feel this, 
okay? Significant, yeah. You see there the is... color? This is copper again, yeah. okay? So by using a, 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 a copper heat sink and doing this, and a blowing fan just like the high-end graphics mm -hmm. car, so it draws the air from this section and blow it blows it over through here. So mm -hmm. this will be a very uh, uh, powerful uh, thermal solution together mm -hmm. with a back plate. A back plate. Yeah, a back plate also with thermal paste. Mm -hmm. Because remember, uh, the heat inside can also transfer. To Goes the in both directions. Yeah. Yeah. So if I can cool it with a back plate, metal back mm -hmm. plate with a thermal paste. That is a total professional solution for mm -hmm. us for Gigabyte. So as you see on the demonstration, we have this car right in action, uh, provides you the best performance. I don't even know anything that can perform at that level. <laughs> right now, like directly connected, right? Yes. Yeah, right. so... Yeah. And I think that's everything we've yes. seen before. Yes. Uh, we've seen, summer, yeah, summarize on, on the, yeah, on and one. definitely hoping to see more. So yes. thank you, Jackson, once no again. This has been your boy, Boss Mag, back to gaming.com, and that has been the Aorus Extreme Power event. Thank you, everyone, for thank watching, you. and see you around.